Hi everyone, in this video I had great fun making a giant fub lolly nightlight. It's probably a crazy place to start, but I just had to make the giant sprinkles first. So I cut down four broomsticks into various lengths and ended up with around 50 separate pieces. I then sanded the cut edges of each piece ready for painting. Now I really, really wanted the sprinkles to look authentic, so I took a lot of time to experiment with various brands of paint until I found the closest colour matches. I finally settled on emulsion paint from the Heritage range of the Little Green Paint Company. The final colours really came out well. The paint's a great texture and they've got some fabulous colour names. To make the body of the ice lolly, I used an 8 foot length of 9mm MDF, cut it into two equal sections, and then off camera I used double sided tape to temporarily hold the two sections together. I then hand sanded a curve into the top corner of the panels. To make sure I was still on track I had to examine a real fab lolly a little more closely. I separated the two sections of MDF and got back on track. Mostly off camera I used various lengths of thinly cut plywood to essentially build a box structure. I glued in a strip of LEDs and sealed the box. I then sealed the entire outside of the lolly section by gluing on edge banding and securing it with tape until it dried. I then masked off the three separate sections ready to paint. Then next came my favourite part of the project, I got to hot glue on those giant sprinkles. I cut an appropriate length of plywood and formed the lolly stick. I screwed the stick to the back of the main body. I cut out lettering to make a stencil and personalised the lolly stick in a lolly stick writing style. I then drilled a series of 8mm holes in the top section of the lolly between the sprinkles to allow light to escape. And because a lolly was a present for my four year old niece who loves sparkly stuff, I went to town with the entire lolly section and sprayed craft glitter spray all over it. After all the glittery stuff, really, it was just a matter of turning out the lights. To make the bite out section, I freehanded a shallow curve in the top section of the box, essentially. I then glued a white pool noodle into the void. Uh, to make the strawberry centre, I snapped a flexible pink ruler in half, cut a slit in the noodle and hot glued it into the centre. All in all, I was really pleased with how the build turned out. I'm just sorry that in the rush to finish it for Christmas, I didn't get time to film every step. I hope it gave you a good idea of how I made it regardless. It's my first proper build and my first ever video, so I really hope you'll understand. And next time I'll really try to film it all.